uh, whenever you are tempted, is that where we are? Yeah. To undertake a useless journey that would lead away from light, remember what you really want and say, the Holy Spirit leads me unto Christ, and where else would I go? What need have I but to awaken Him? Then follow Him in joy with faith that He will lead you safely through all dangers to your peace of mind this world may set before you. Kneel not before the to sacrifice, and seek not what you will surely lose. Content yourself with what you will as surely keep, and be not restless, for you undertake a quiet journey to the peace of God, where He would have you be in quietness. In me, you have already overcome every temptation that would hold you back. We walk together on the way to quietness that is the gift of God. Hold me dear, for what except your brothers can you need? We will restore to you the peace of mind that we must find together. The Holy Spirit will teach you to awaken unto us and to yourself. This is the only real need to be fulfilled in time. Salvation from the world lies only here. My peace I give you, take it of me, in a glad exchange for all the world has offered but to take away. And we will spread it like a veil of light across the world's sad face in which we hide our brothers from the world and it from them. You know, I always say it, it takes two. And it does. Jesus is saying here, you need to take my hand through, the, through this walk. This is gonna, it's going to be a journey. Uh, it doesn't have to be a long journey. That's, that's your choice as to how long the journey is. But the, the salvation is in seeing him as our brother and seeing each other as our brothers. Right. Because only to the extent that I see you as a, as, as a son of God can I recognize myself as a holy son of God. Right. See, it talks about time. Time has one purpose. One purpose only. It's not to build houses. It's not to build careers. Retirement. It's not to build <laughs> retirement. It's not to be the most famous of famous. It's to wake up. Right. The Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit devi defines something, it then has a function. And until the Holy Spirit defines it for you, it has no function. The brother, when the brother becomes yourself, when you realize that instead of that being my enemy, this is my, I'm having a holy encounter with myself. See, we're having a holy encounter with ourself. You're having a holy encounter with yourself. Right. We're bringing the holy instant and extending it in love. Right. Your mind receives it. Right. Your consciousness may not be there, but your mind receives it. Right. And the, it talks about sharing the light. See, the, we recognize the light in our brothers. That's, it, says, it says in the Course, that spark has never gone away. So no, no matter how far away we think this person is from the real world, right. there's a spark, and, there's, and, the, and the Holy Spirit is in that mind right. and is going to allow our light to, to shine in that mind. And we, we don't have to worry about how that happens. We don't have to have any understanding right. of that because it, this is, we're moving into a world of being. Right. So as we are, as we work miracles, as we're directed by Jesus to work, to work specific miracles, it's changing the mind. The beauty, Every aspect of mine is touched. The beauty of the real world is that I no longer see people. Mm -hmm. I can only see the sun. Right. We cannot sing. Redemption's hymn alone. My task is not completed until I have lifted every voice with mine, and yet it is not mine. For as it is my gift to you, so is it the Father's gift to me given me through His Spirit. The sound of it will banish sorrow from the mind of God's most holy Son where it cannot abide. Healing in time is needed, for joy cannot establish its eternal reign where sorrow dwells. You dwell not here but in eternity. You travel but in dreams while safe at home. Give thanks to every part of you that you have taught how to remember you. Thus does the Son of God give thanks unto His Father for His purity. Now here's the ministry. Give thanks to every part of you that you have taught how to remember you. This is the holy encounter with yourself right here. Right. And, and it's so important, this gratitude. Your worst enemy, or you, who you appears to be your worst enemy, is your greatest Savior. Right. And, you sh and once you see what that aspect of mine is doing for you, 
what you're doing for yourself, you have gratitude. Right. You know, I'm so thankful for the, the relationships that I've had and have that have allowed me to learn. Right. These are the mighty companions that we're talking about. Right. And it's not because it's the, you know, I'm not, I may not be your mighty companion because, because I sit here and we're sitting here talking on a, on a video. Right. Your mighty companion might be the person that you can't, you're hoping doesn't get home for another hour. Right. Or the boss that you have to deal with every right. day. Right. Right. Because we hold up a mirror of our own thought and that that we deal with every right. every uh, so-called day. Right. You know, I was uh, I was involved in a work situation and the, and the same thing just kept, kept happening over a period of years, kept happening over and over. And I kept thinking, why do I have to keep going around this mountain like the children of Israel going around Sinai again? Right. And it's because I wasn't learning the lesson. Right. All, all things that are happening to us or appear to be happening to us are lessons. Right. Well, we're finished with this section, and the next section says for perception to knowledge, and I just want to remind everybody that the real world is not the end. It's the means, we're perception. Right. It's a corrected perception, Right. but we're not going to stay in perce corrected perception. Perception leads to knowledge. The happy dream, the real world, is the ending of dreams, and that's what we're after. And the voice that you'll always hear from the real world is one thing, love's all there is. And we're it. And we're <laughs> we're it. all that is. That's it. All right. We'll talk to you next time. For more information about Voice from the Real World, please feel free to visit our website at www.voicefromtherealworld.org or send us an email at voicefromtherealworld at yahoo.com. Thank you for watching.